Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. I told you this show was going to be full of special and wonderful yeah. guests, and Todd Johnson from NCBA is no exception to that. Todd, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, your involvement with the livestock industry, and for those who don't know all about NCBA, what it is and their mission? You bet. We are. I'm a Kansan uh, by birth, mm -hmm. and um, until about six years ago, uh, worked in Kansas. My family has a diversified farming operation, a cow-calf operation. My dad has your channel turned on the television all the time. So uh, family is still involved now, about fourth generation. Uh, really proud of that. I work for NCBA, and I've always had a career, you might say, in the beef industry, but more from an affiliate side. I uh, worked for the American Hereford Association for a short time. I uh, worked for the Kansas Livestock Association for about 15 years, and now here at uh, NCBA in Denver, and I really enjoy working with producers. Well, like you said, it's kind of bred into you, the livestock industry, the agriculture industry, and you have such a strong appreciation for it. For those who do not know a lot about NCBA and what they do, can you tell us about that? Yeah, NCBA is a membership organization. We have right at 30,000 members across the country, and we have two uh, strong pillars that we're based on. One is our public policy work. Uh, we've got a strong lobbying and regulatory arm in Washington, D.C. And then we also do work as a contractor to the beef checkoff program where we're doing those things that increase demand uh, for beef amongst the consumer audience. So we have a two-pronged approach, but we operate under one structure, which I believe makes us very strong and very efficient. And going off of that, I know you guys have something that you just implemented. It's called the Long Range Plan. I have my cheat sheet here. Like I said, I didn't want to get anything wrong. But it goes from 2016 to 2020. Tell us about this plan, its mission, the vision, and everything behind it. Yeah, the beef industry, um, every five years now for the past 20 roughly, has adopted a Long Range Plan. Uh, NCBA is part of that, but I want to be real clear, this is an industry plan that we hope everybody from producer uh, to supply chain partners will adopt and, and look at as their way to move the industry forward. So in short, this plan was started last fall with a panel of about 16 industry leaders that came together to look at the challenges and opportunities facing our industry and set forth a plan that we all can follow to help us move forward. Now that panel of people you would recognize, they're all stars in the industry from uh, seed stock producers to supply chain partners to packers and processors. They brought ideas to the table. Uh, those ideas were uh, melded into a plan that was then looked at and adopted at the Cattle Industry Summer Conference in July. And it has one clear uh, strategic outcome and that is to increase beef demand 2% per year for the next five years. So there's a whole bunch of things that play into that. Uh, one is to see increased growth in export markets. Uh, one is to build trust with our consumers uh, in the beef production and the product that we raise. Uh, one is to enhance uh, the understanding of our industry. So uh, people can look at that plan and find a way to plug in. From our organization, it guides us in everything we do from a policy implementation standpoint as well as beef demand programs. Well, I know it's a very extensive plan, but it's also very basic when you just look at the nuts and bolts of it. It's really great for our industry. And if people want to find out more about it, where can they visit or who can they contact? Yeah, visit beefusa.org. That's our website. The Long Range Plan is uh, on that website. Uh, it has It's a two-page document. There's also a larger, about a 20-page document with more detail. But uh, for the Cliff Notes version, that two-pager on beefusa.org is a great way for the industry to see uh, what's in store for us over the next five years. I firmly believe if we follow that plan, we can move the industry forward. And moving the industry forward, I know NCBA is... I, I had you talk about it because I know a lot of people, if they aren't familiar watching this show, but you guys have a lot of events across the year, but you have one major event, and I'm kind of excited about this upcoming event. It's in San Diego, California. What a better place to have yeah. it. But tell us a little bit about that event. Oh, the Cattle Industry Convention and the NCBA Trade Show is the end of January, a great time to be in San Diego. Uh, five or 6,000 people will attend that. It is the one-stop place for the cattle industry to have education, entertainment, uh, and develop programs that's so important, again, based back on the long-range plan. So, uh, yeah, we're glad that you guys are part of that. I understand in even a bigger way this year, which is wonderful. Um, it's a great time to be in California and part of the beef industry. You're exactly right, and I know we look forward to that, and I want to thank you for coming on the show thank with you. me today. When we come back, another great guest. Don't go anywhere.